Bitcoin is up over 7% today and 15% from its recent low over the weekend. We are currently sitting at 48,730, which is just below the big $50,000 mark. Today, we're going to show you guys two big reversal signals that have popped up on the chart and can eventually lead us back over that $50,000 mark. You don't want to miss today's video, guys. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to take you to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notification bells so you guys are notified when we post videos like this. Also, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Help us continue to spread the adoption of cryptocurrency through our YouTube channel, which of course also helps the Bitcoin price. So let's smash that like button and see those profits roll in. So let's start off with the trade recap of the weekend with the trade setups that we gave you guys on Friday's video. So with Bitcoin, we gave you guys about three setups on Friday's video and two of them hit. So the first setup that hit here was that 44k entry. We told you guys if the price of Bitcoin continued to the downside that we were looking at two entries. The first one was that $46,000 entry, which would have been this and that 44k entry, right? This. So remember, we always tell you guys do not buy on the drop. You buy on the bounce. So if you guys would have been able to pick this uh, trade up right here at 44,000 on that bounce back up, you guys would have done about 113% in profit using 10x leverage like we did. The second entry that we gave you guys was that 46K entry, which was right there. If you guys were able to catch that entry right here, you should have been able to do about 65% profit if you wrote it up to that $49,000 area where it's sitting at right now and using 10X leverage. In Ethereum, we gave you guys that $1,400 entry if we continued down. So if you were able to enter this $1,400 entry on this bounce, like always, you would have done about 50% profits if you used 5X leverage like we did. All right, so now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and look at the overall market. As you guys can see, today's global crypto market cap is at $1.49 trillion, which is up 11 over 11% over the last 24 hours. If you look over the entire market, we are basically in the green. Basically everything is green so far today in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is up about 12.8%. And Bitcoin's market cap is now over $900 billion again, about to hit that one trillion very soon. If we look at the Bitcoin's fear and greed index, we can see that we are at 38, which is basically fear. You guys can see here that this is the most fear that we've had in the market since about January 22nd. January 22nd, we hit a value of 40 in the fear and greed index. And today we've hit a lower value of 38. As you guys see here, whenever there's fear in a market, it's always a good buying opportunity. And when there's a lot of green in the market, it usually means that a correction is eventually coming. Now you guys can see that it could stay in greed and extreme greed for a very long periods of time, as you saw in many different instances. So it, just cause it hits the top of the fear and greed index doesn't mean to sell right away, but to start, you know, maybe taking profits or just be careful because a sell off is eventually coming. You can see here in this tweet that they also spoke about the same fear and greed index by from the um, arcane research. And they said mark market sentiment dropped down to fear levels again this weekend, the lowest since September. These resets of market euphoria are necessary and healthy in a bull market. Bitcoin, please carry on. So you can see here in the same chart that we're basically looking at here, if we look all the way back to September, so we were looking at the three month, which uh, showed us January. But if we went to the one year, this is where we're currently at 38. This was in January, we're at 40. 
And then this is back in October and September when that was the last time that we hit 38 on the fear scale here. So, and what happened after that in September, basically Bitcoin took off. So, and what happened when we hit the fear index of the so low here in January, Bitcoin again took off. So this is always, not always, but a lot of times can be good buying opportunity. It'll, it'll be a good, a pretty good buy signal when there's a lot of fear in the market. And then you can see here by another analyst saying pretty strong Coinbase premium since 43K Coinbase wells are most affected by the ma macro environment. And I think they're buying indicates the correction is over so let's go ahead and take a look at the charts guys let's dive into this you guys can see here that over the weekend we set a low forty three thousand and seventeen dollars this is on the bybit exchange if you go to to bitmex it set a low of forty three thousand and forty dollars so depending on what exchange you're looking at there could be different prices the prices are going to vary we trade on bybit so that's why we look at the bybit charts so you can see that we're up from the low that we posted here we're up about we've gone as high as 15 percent of a recovery and as you saw in a here in the last 24 hours, we're up about 12% overall. If you take a look at how deep we've corrected from this all time high, all the way to the low right here, it's about 26 and a half percent correction, which is just about in line with the average corrections in Bitcoin. You can see here our previous correction, we corrected about 31 and a half percent. So a bit lower on the percentage size on this one than on our current correction but we corrected about thirteen thousand dollars there and here so far we've corrected about fifteen and a half thousand dollars so as you guys can see we corrected down basically right down to this fibonacci level here the 38.2 percent level which we spoke about um that's currently exactly where we got that bounce that was pretty much right at that $43,000 area right before that 42 that we spoke about, which would have been the next support area. So we had the Fibonacci level plus that 42K previous high support there. And it looks like that's where we got the bounce on this uh, drop. Currently, we're back to this very next Fibonacci level, which is at 23.6% level. And, we're, and it's also falls in line with that 50k level so that's gonna be a nice resistance there i expect a lot of price action a lot of people that bought the dip could be taking profits there and if we do break up and above this then i expect us to possibly hit anywhere between 52k which is kind of where we were here to possibly our previous all-time high and i will tell you why all right, so how and why would we hit um, this as our target, right? So to understand that, we have to understand that, first of all, what pattern we're looking at right here. What's going on here? As you guys can see, this is currently what you call a falling wedge. So this is the first bullish reversal signal that I want to show you guys here today on the chart, this falling wedge on the Bitcoin chart. So what is a falling wedge pattern? The falling wedge pattern is a continuation pattern formed when price bounces between two downward sloping converging trend lines. As you guys can see here, these are the converging trend lines. And once there's a breakout, usually the target here is the high of where this started, right? So it's going to be the peak of where this pattern started. So now if we come back and look at the Bitcoin chart and we look at the highest peak. Guess what the highest peak is? The highest peak is the previous all time high, which falls right at $58,500. So that's how I've come up with this target for the next week. Now that doesn't mean that it's exactly what's gonna happen, but there's a probability that it's going to happen due to the pattern that's currently playing out. So if it plays out to the book, then 58K, which is the previous all time high, is our target. Now. We can get rejected at any time and we can form some sort of a uh, channel going downwards, right? Right now we have resistances, like I said, at 50K. There's gonna be a lot of price action there. So we gotta get through that first. Then we have to get through 52K, which you can see there was already a lot of price action in that area. 
Once we get through there, we'll have the 54K area. And after that, we have 56 to 58, which is this entire area right here. So we have a lot of work to do, but according to the theory of the falling wedge pattern, it is a bullish signal. It is a reversal signal and its price target, according to this pattern, is going to be the peak of the pattern, which is the all time high $58,500. The next thing that we're looking at in the Bitcoin chart, and this is the second reversal signal. If you look at this blue trend line going down, you see that it had a higher low and then it formed a lower low. But if you look at that RSI, you see that it had a lower low and then formed a higher low. This is called bullish divergence. A bullish divergence occurs when the RSI creates an oversold reading followed by a higher low that matches correspondingly lower lows in the price action. You can see here in the photos the different bullish and bearish divergences. And if we come back to the Bitcoin chart now, you can clearly see that the price action has been showing higher lows to lower lows and the RSI has been showing lower lows in oversold territory to higher lows. That my friends is a bullish divergence. It is also a reversal signal and it's a signal that the price will be or should be at some point going back up like we currently are right now. So let's go ahead and jump into the Ethereum chart now guys. If you look at it, it's looking very, very similar to the Bitcoin chart, right? We have basically the same thing, right? We dumped down, um, you know, Bitcoin's been pulling basically the entire market down and it kind of bottomed out here at the same exact time as Bitcoin. And now it's posting, you know, similar gains to Bitcoin, as you guys can see here for the day um, since the new candle started, Ethereum's up. 8% and Bitcoin's up 8% as well. So basically mimicking each other at this point. You can see that uh, Ethereum printed a low of 1292, which is the lowest since what the beginning of February. It's the lowest price that we've seen since the beginning since one month ago. And that's basically where it got its it's popped back up right right around that 1300 level. It bounced right through 1400, which is a level that we spoke about on Friday's video. And it's now currently at around 1537. Now we're, we're currently sitting here at that 1500 level. And the next thing that we're looking for is basically for it to jump back up to these levels up here, right? Um, that's that next Fibonacci level. It's currently sitting on the 38.2% Fibonacci level. And if we are able to break out of that, you know, this area, we should break right through 1600 and above 1600. I think we'll definitely run straight up to 17 and beyond, which is right around that next Fibonacci level um, on our way back up to test the previous all time high. Now, the target due to this pattern, if you guys look at this same pattern that we're looking at in Bitcoin is a fallen falling wedge. So what did we just learn? that a falling wedge that usually the pattern goes to the top of the wedge, it's peak, right? So if we stick to that, and if this does a textbook falling wedge, then we should see a retest of this previous all time high, which is at $2,000 area. So that's the first reversal sign in Ethereum. If we also look at the bullish divergence here, we can see that we had a higher low and a lower low followed by a lower low which was oversold and a higher low on the rsi so the same thing goes here in ethereum uh, we have a bullish divergence which is a, the second reversal bullish signal that we're seeing on the chart here um, which is what's telling us that the price might have bottomed out here where it currently you know at its current low and uh, should be going back up possibly to retest that previous all time high. All right, so next we're gonna cover some trade signals and some trade setups that we're gonna be watching this week to make some profits, make you guys some profits, make everybody some profits, and so that we're all just rich and happy. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But before you can make those profits, you have to smash that like button, and if you're not subscribed yet, you have to subscribe. By subscribing, smashing the like button, you're helping us with the YouTube algorithm, which in turn helps us 
to reach more people, which in turn helps us reach more adoption, which in turn helps you make more profits because it's going to help us uh, continue to put this knowledge out there for people that don't know about Bitcoin and they're going to put their money into Bitcoin and we're all going to make profits together. So what I'm saying is smash that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any questions about any of this, make sure to drop it in the comments. All right, so the first entry that we're looking for in Bitcoin should be of no surprise. We're looking at that 50K area right there. You guys know that that's a big number for Bitcoin. We expect a lot of price action, just like we've seen there, we've seen there. So expect a lot of price action. You know, uh, once we get above there, we should shoot up to that 51 to 52K area. But make sure that you're trailing properly, you're using proper risk management and all that other fun stuff. Uh, you don't want to get caught on the wrong side of the trade. If we shoot back down, I'm really honestly trying to stay out of all this craziness down here. Um, but if we shoot back down, that first entry that you can consider using is that 46K entry. And then the second one is going to be back at this 44k entry that's the same level that we were watching over the weekend and then uh the the last one would be that 30 that 42 to 43k level where we basically bottomed out over the weekend so those are the trade setups that we're watching in bitcoin this week in ethereum we're going to be watching for a breakout above that 1600 level so that's the same level we gave you guys on Friday, but it did not hit the next level that we're going to be looking at if we don't hit that 1600 and instead we get rejected and fall back down. Then, of course, we're watching this 1400 level, which is pretty much right around that area. We're going to be looking for the same thing. We want to see a bounce up and then that's when we take that 1400 entry. If we bounce below that, then we're looking at basically the area where we bottomed out um, over the weekend, which is right at that 1300 level. Don't forget, never try to catch the price while it's falling. You want to catch those trades while they're bouncing back up. Trust me, it makes your life a whole lot easier if you do it this way. And that is a wrap, guys. That is basically it. That's our outlook for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you saw what we're watching right now. You know, we gave you guys our target of a possible reversal back up to that previous all time highs in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And hopefully we're able to hit that this week over the, the next you know few days. If not, we have some trade setups that we gave you guys uh, for any other drops back down, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to make money regardless of which way the market goes over the next seven days, because we already know that long term, we're going to make lots of profits. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up on the video, like it and share it with your friends and family. It helps us out overall. If you're new here, make sure to give us a subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified every time we post out these videos and we post up these trades for you guys to make some profits. As you know, the goal of this channel is to always empower you guys with the resources and knowledge that we have uh, to make everybody money and then and continue to push cryptocurrency adoption up. So that's pretty much it, guys. Enjoy your Monday. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. I hope you guys make lots of profits and I will see you on tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love.